good evening all of you uh, my name is nitin shelke and today i'm going to deliver the session on text pre processing uh, using nltk and python so which is uh, i can say the sub topic under the natural language processing domain okay uh, these are the outlines uh, the the topic that we are going to cover uh, so nlp and its applications we'll start with what is nlp and the need of nlp and its application will not spend that much time on the the theoretical aspect most of the time we are going to spend it on the hands on part okay first 15 minutes on the the theory and remaining 45 minutes total hands on uh, the basic operation the next thing uh, the next uh, thing that we are going to discuss the, these are the basic operations on the text data and then the actual text pre processing steps that we require for any project that comes under the natural language processing okay so before going for the the deep learning model or the bird or transformer or machine learning model any other model so we need text pre processing okay so so that pre processing steps we are going to cover and finally we will take one case studies uh, under that uh, uh, one file we considered and we perform whatever the stages that we have discussed and will apply all the steps on the particular file okay so these uh, this is what the outline for the today's session now let us start with the the first thing that is nlp okay so nlp it, it is a natural language pre processing or natural language processing which is a field of artificial intelligence uh the broad domain is ai under which we have several fields uh, let me showcase the the venn diagram so when we consider the artificial intelligence the broad domain is artificial intelligence under that we have uh, machine learning deep learning and then some some other fields like natural language processing is get attached with the the ai like image pre process image processing is get attached okay so this is our nlp which we can say that is include under the ai machine learning and deep learning association with all these fields okay so nlp is a branch of artificial intelligence that allows to computer to analyze and understand the human language so uh, we can say it is an interaction between the computer and human language and with the help of this nlp it is a process of deriving the meaningful information from the natural language text okay so this is what the the nlp now what is the need so nowadays we know that everyone is uh, uh, going to uh, post the the message chat regularly share the status write the email write the blog share the opinion okay so the text communication is nowadays one of the the prominent uh, form of the day to day conversion so where there is the involvement of the text data there we require the natural language processing even for uh, the the speech recognition or the the human uh, language in the form of audio or video okay so that time also the we required the 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 use of nlp in order to convert the the language into the text and then perform certain operations by utilizing the nlp and its component we can organize the massive chunk of text data and perform the several automated task and that can solve the wide range of problem uh that we will discuss under the application part so the very first application under the nlp it is text classification so uh, it is a, uh, it is the process of categorizing the text into the organized group okay so say suppose you have the the collection of text data okay and uh, like news article we have under the news article there are several types of news okay so with the help of nlp and the the ai you can classify the different text from the news under the food domain under the sports editorial board politics entertainment so we can 
make a group of uh, different text format, uh, different text categories. Okay, so the text classification and text categorization is one of the application of NLP. Then automatic text summarization uh, is another applications where we can summarize the the large text into the short. Okay, longer text document you can convert it into the shorter text. Uh, or you can say the kind of abstract you can get it from the, the longer text with the help of NLP. Then next application, uh, so that, that is repeated text classification. Then sentiment analysis uh, is one of the useful application nowadays. You can find the use of sentiment analysis in a lot many, I mean sentiment analysis is also one area and under that we have several subdomain like you can apply it in the movie reviews then you can apply it in the hotel reviews okay different review section e-commerce reviews okay so different at different review sections you can apply the the sentiment analysis it is the automated process of classifying the opinion uh, from the text whether the text is positive negative or neutral so we can monitor the sentiments from the social media or we can analyze the sentiment from the as, as i say earlier that the the broad domain it is again sentiment analysis we can apply it in the social media product reviews or survey response and many other uh, places you can make the use of this sentiment analysis then web scrapping so web scrapping is the extraction of the text data from the the web websites and then perform certain further uh, then perform further analysis uh, whichever you want so further analysis means you can go for the uh, sentiment analysis you can go for the information uh, or you can go for the classification clustering or the even for the extracting the specific information okay so web scrapping is also the part of nlp then chatbot so uh, uh, you you all know the chatbot the importance of chatbot nowadays we want to replace the the human being and uh, with the chatbot and that chatbot can answer the uh, the questions okay whatever the query that you can fire the ch you, your chatbot can answer it so it is a computer program that simulates the human conversation then next thing is information extraction from the clinical node so basically uh, when the information is placed uh, as a huge document or in a complex format and we do not require the the all the details specific and we want the specific details for example this is what my source text and it is a complicated information okay and we just need the the systematic information so systematic information means what say suppose this is a blog that is related with the medical patients so what disease it is so the diabetes specific information okay so diabetic because of this uh, words we can identify the disease is diabetes and other than that we can whatever the the parameter that we set so it can extract the important and useful information from the huge amount of text. Okay, so that is uh, the information extraction. So apart from that, there are many other uses, okay, many applications, many other applications. Okay, so where there is the involvement of the text data, there you require the natural language processing. Okay, now the libraries that we required for the natural language processing, there are two libraries for the primary libraries and secondary libraries. Under the primary library, we have NLTK, which is most commonly used Python based library and that we are going to cover under this session. Other than that, we have another library, Stanford NLT, NLP toolkit, which is Java based, Gensim, TextBlob, Spassy. Okay, so these are uh, other libraries that you can consider uh, for uh, doing the NLP projects. But NLTK is one of the most commonly used library nowadays. Okay, then secondary libraries that we require. So secondary libraries, NumPy for handling the multidimensional array. Because as we know, whatever data that we are going to consider, whether it is a text data, whether it is a image data, whether it is audio data, 
whichever the type of data that we have at the end the processing that get perform uh, in the background it is on the numbers okay so we require this numpy library basically if we have a text data we can understand the text data human can understand the text data but machine cannot understand image video and audio okay so these are the different formats of data but when we want to perform or when we want to give this data to the machine machine cannot understand this text data image video and audio it can only understand all these data in the form of matrix or vector in number format basically okay so in order to uh, do this pre processing internally we require this numpy library then matplotlib library is for the data visualization uh, apart from that you can take the use of cborn also then pandas library it is for uh, data manipulations you can apply you can read the files and perform several operations with the help of pandas library other than that we require sklearn so under sklearn uh, we have several machine learning uh, the models like classification whether you want to go with the classification or the clustering on the text data okay so you get random forest classifier or the decision tree new bias all these algorithms are uh, these classes are present in the sklearn library and the tensorflow keras pytorch for the deep learning purpose where you can apply the recurrent neural network rnn lstm by lstm okay gru by gru or the pre trained model then you are embeddings transformer okay so for that purpose we required these things tensorflow keras and pytorch okay so these are the libraries that we required now uh, let's start with the the hands on part now okay so we'll start with the very basic operations and then after that we'll go for the some complex operations okay so let me open my uh, jupiter notebook so the very first thing the very first thing that we require it is analytical library so in order to use the analytical library you need to write this line of code import analytk okay so when we write this code and i have executed it will take some time okay it is successfully executed okay that means this analytk library is present in my uh, anaconda module okay in anaconda uh, previously means before last uh, before the means back five years okay we need to install this analytk separately but nowadays uh, this analytk library is come up with the anaconda so you don't need to install it separately so if you go with the anaconda then you do not require to download or to install using pip command okay automatically you get it okay so this is how you can import the library now after that the next step is you need some resources okay so you need some packages or modules so to download this to download the packages you need to write analytk dot download so with the help of this line analytk dot download you get one screen automatically one pop up window get occurred over here uh, yeah this one okay so this is this uh, the screen analytk downloader that you get and then you how uh, here you have the collections corpus models and all packages so you just need to click on the download and all the packages the book module the different corpuses like gutenberg web text okay there are lot many corpuses that you can get okay other libraries like stock words then your uh, dictionaries wordnet everything you get it from here okay just in single click download uh, you can download all the packages which is which is to be required okay uh, right now i'm closing this because uh all these packages 
are present on my system so i'm just closing it but you need to download all these things now next next is uh, let us uh, start with the very basic operation and for that you need some practice text okay so just the first module that you can load the uh, book module in the book module you get the several text file in the book model you get the several text file text 1 to text 9 on which you can apply some basic operations okay so just to download this book model this give me second okay so to download the book model so you can write the from nltk okay from nltk dot book import star okay so with this line you can download all the text file text 1 text 2 and text 3 and text 4 okay and after that uh, text 9 is also there then you can go for the the basic operation okay these all are the very basic operation alien method the you get the length of the the text then set method to get the duplicate words from the text file count method is used for getting the the specific uh, specific uh, word count and the frequency distribution with the help of this frequency distribution you get the the frequency distributions of all the the words okay so let us start with the alien method first so i'm going to use the text one so text one i'm going to find the length of text one it is very basic method so these many words are present in the text one file okay then set method that we have uh, through the set method you can eliminate the, the duplicate word so if you want to find the the length of the unique word then you can write the length of set of text one okay so with the help of this you get the length of unique word present in the text one file okay then count method with the help of count method you can count the the specific word count so for example uh, let me write here text one so under the text one um, dot count and i'm typing the word okay i want to count the specific word like the i want to count the the how many times the word is present in the text one file so the is present 13721 let me take another one mm, like mm, while okay so the while word is present under the text one 216 time okay so this is very basic method let us go for the frequency distribution now now this is important one the frequency distribution now if you if you would like to get the frequency distribution for all the words then you need to first import the the frequency distribution class from the nltk library so let me import this one so from you can write nltk you have to import the frequency dist okay then we have to create the object of frequency dist class so this is my object of my frequency dist task md md 
okay and then there are some methods okay there are many methods like if you would like to find the uh, the most common words okay then empty let me pass this text one over here okay and then this is my object empty i have passed the text one now md dot most common 50 words so i i just want the most common 10 words okay so these are the 10 words okay comma these many times the is present these many times off is present these many times okay so you can pass any number okay you get the distribution for all the words that is present under the uh, your text one file Apart from that, you can tabulate this thing. Okay, let me show you the tabulate representation, tabular representation with the help of this tabulate command. So you can tabulate, um, let me tabulate the 10 words over here. So in tabular format, you can uh, tabulate the, the words, okay, 20 words. Okay, so this is how uh, you get to know the frequency of word from the text document. Then uh, you can also plot or you can get the frequency of particular word okay so for example uh, your fd and frequency is the method freq and you can pass the the specific word so for example i want to pass this that word okay the frequency i would like to know the frequency of that in the text one this is the frequency and uh, if you directly pass this that you'll get the count you'll get the count at the end i'm going to share this ip one file with you to practice this okay so you get the count of that okay it's the specific count of that from the text one file okay so here you can pass your text also okay uh, now this is what i implemented all these method on the the the, the text file that is present under the book model but you can apply all these things on your data also for example i am having this um, game of throne blog got blog okay this is my input text and i would like to find the frequency distribution for this okay so this, this is my game of throne blog and i assign all this text to my variable name input text okay this is my variable name input text there i assign the the game of thrones block now i would like to apply all these methods whichever we discussed okay so if you check the type of my uh, this input text it is string but when we want to go for applying the the frequency distributions and the method associated with the NLTK, then you have to typecast the, the things. You have to typecast the, the input. Okay, so you need to convert this string to the NLTK dot text data type. Let me show you what exactly is what I'm seeing. So here the text one, you know, this is for your text one, which is present under the book model. And if you check the type of this text one, it is NLTK dot uh, text dot text. Okay. And we also need to convert this string to this NLTK dot text. Then only you can apply the methods, whichever we discussed earlier. So in order to typecast this, one line of code is required. Converting the string data into the NLTK dot text. Let me copy this. Okay, so now you can write here NLTK dot text and you can pass your input text. Okay, so input text, we also you need to divide it into the, the tokens also. Okay, so you need to write the split method to divide it into the words and this is my new input. New input okay now let me show you my new input 
okay so my new input is now converted into the nltk.txt format okay nltk.txt format now you can apply the frequency distributions for this game of thrones blog okay this is our game of thrones blog on which we are going to apply the frequency distribution so let me show you that thing so uh, the same thing already we have created this so i'm just copying it and pasting it over here frequency distribution first you have to download the frequency distribution uh, import the frequency distribution from nltk then create the object now you have to pass instead of this text one you have to pass the new input okay then you can use the most common word most common okay 10 words from the blog okay this is our blog where the is present these many times game is present these many times okay so remaining all method you can try the tabulate okay then you can also try for the plot also okay there is one more method that is called as uh, you get the plot md dot plot and the 10 words for 10 words okay so let me execute one more time yeah this is what the plot that you get okay so plot is one of another method that you can use for under the frequency distribution frequency distribution is a class okay this is your class under that we have several method most common tabulate plot okay so this method we have already discussed which we have applied on the this input text similarly you can try for the set method then length method on this game of thrones block okay so these all are the basic operations that you can apply now let us go for the the text pre-processing okay so text pre-processing we have several uh, stages that we apply regularly in any nlp related projects okay so let me first open the the life cycle nlp life cycle nlp project life cycle life cycle okay so generalized life cycle that we have the first stage is the problem identification okay it is same under the deep learning also machine learning projects also ai projects also uh, even for image pre -pro image, image processing also the problem identification is the first phase where we identify the problem, your problem may be a text classification problem, your problem may be a sentiment analysis, your problem may be a text summarization, whichever you want and on what data set you want. So this is our problem identification phase. Then second phase that uh, we go for that is the data collection. Based on, based on your identified problem, say suppose you identified that you want to go for the sentiment analysis on the the news okay uh, the political news okay say so suppose you want to go for sentiment analysis on the political news so you need a data okay you need you need to collect the data that is related with the political news which you can collect it from the different uh, um, websites okay uh, like uh, from kaggle from uci ml and google data set search engine there you can download the text data okay for your project purpose okay data collection is the second stage then under the third stage we have text data pre-processing as we are talking about text data today we are talking about the text data so that's why it is not a normal data pre-processing it is a text data let me write here text data pre-processing okay so third stage is the text data pre-processing so whenever we go for collecting the data from the real world that data is having some issue okay that data is not a that data is not in the desirable format that is to be required for further analysis further analysis means what we want to create the sentiment analysis uh, model with the help of deep learning or with the help of bird transformer okay so you you have to convert the raw data in into the useful form so under the text data pre-processing we have several stages okay so these many stages we have under the text pre-processing apart from that there are 
other stages also other stages means uh, removing the unnecessary columns removing the duplications and then uh, splitting the data scaling the data okay apart from that there are certain other things also but these are the most common stages that include under the text data preprocessing so whenever we say uh, the nlp project life cycle your 50% of work is going under the the pre processing part then once we get the useful data means the conversion of raw data to the useful form then we go for the model creation model creation before that we have feature extraction also let me write feature extraction so under the feature extraction part uh, we need to convert this text into the vectors or the array so for that purpose you can go for the the different uh, embeddings or some feature extraction technique like bag of word bow then tfidf okay word to vec then there are other embedding these are the basic feature extraction technique for the text data bag of word tfidf word to vec and some advanced one like glow under the glow also you have several versions okay then fast text okay these are the uh, the embeddings word embeddings and you can also go for the transformers also okay so this comes under the feature extraction that means the you can convert the text data into the vectors okay because machine cannot understand your text data as it is word as it is it creates the the vectors in zero one format okay so this is uh, another stage under the life cycle of nlp okay model creation where you need to create the model you can go for the basic model machine learning model or you can go for the dl model you can go for the bert okay whatever you want then next is model i'm not going in detail of these things model creation because today's topic is text data preprocessing but you should know why i'm explaining this because you should know why this third stage is important in order to proceed for the the fourth fifth and sixth stage sixth then model creation then model testing okay we'll test the your model and we we'll evaluate the performance of the model model testing we test the model on the test data set we create the model on trained data set and evaluation evaluation means you can evaluate the performance of your model whether your model is working fine or not by using the different performance matrix and the last stage is the deployment okay so this is how the these these are the stages that include puts the 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 common stages under the nlp projects okay problem identification data collection text data preprocessing there you require lower casing tokenization stop word removal steaming lemmatization and additional operations okay and remaining all 4 5 6 7 and 8 uh, we are going to discuss this thing now let me start with text pre processing we'll go for the the first one is lower casing so this is very simple uh, under the lower casing we can convert the for example i'm considering the txt1 you all know welcome to the world of nlp okay and if you would like to convert while lower casing is important because python is a case sensitive language and um, capital w and small w is having a different meaning okay even in nlp also the capital w and small w is having a different meaning so in order to avoid the confusion we go for the lower casing and it is very simple this is with uh, very basic method that is dot lower method with the help of this dot lower method we can convert all the text into the lower case you can see over here 
with the help of this dot lower method you can convert all the text into the lower case so whenever you want to go for the the text pre processing the first stage is the uh, conversion of your text into the lower case okay so that you can avoid the further confusion next stage is tokenization under the tokenization we have two thing one is word tokenization another is sentence tokenization sentence tokenization okay so uh, it is again based on your application on which uh, project you are working say suppose uh, you are working on the sentiment analysis okay then word is important for us okay that means the word tokenization is necessary you need to divide the text paragraph into the words if suppose you you are working on some summarization okay and where the sentence is playing very important role for you then go for the sentence tokenization but in maximum projects almost in 70 80% we go with the word tokenization okay let us go with the word tokenization so right, right now i'm just taking the input normal input okay in case study i will take the uh, the one text file okay import it and then apply all these steps okay so word tokenization mm, i will take the small sentence text one welcome to the world of nlp and hope you all are enjoying okay this is my text one now in order to tokenize this using nltk library you have option that you can use the the dot split method also but we are going to discuss this thing with word tokenization uh, with nltk library so from nltk dot tokenize you can import word tokenize this is class word underscore tokenize okay now next create the object of this word tokenize pass your text this is my text one and you get the tokens and let me print it okay so these all are my tokens welcome is separate word to is separate the is separate word is separate all all separate but before that as i said you need to convert into the lower case also the first step you have to convert it into the lower case txt1 dot lower then store it into the txt1 okay and then go for the tokenization so that all are in lower case all the all the words are in lower case okay so this is your word tokenization let let's go for the sentence tokenization so for sentence tokenization i am considering the two sentence over here and from nltk dot tokenize you can use the sent underscore tokenize sent underscore tokenize create the object of this sent underscore tokenize and you will get the sentence okay so this is my first and this is my second sentence okay so this is how you can perform the sentence tokenization now next next is stop word removal okay so lower case is done tokenization is done now next is stop word removal stop word now what do you mean by stop words first stop word means the high frequency words high frequency means that is not having any lexical important or significant uh, significant importance to perform further analysis if you see over here uh, in this text you can find the frequency of these words the of and a uh, to since then that okay so the frequency of these words are very high okay and when we worked on the the nlp projects okay uh, so your data is very bulky okay we do not want to provide the bulky data to your model okay otherwise your model will take lot much time and it get confused and because of that we would like to remove this all this unnecessary word from the text because our focus is on the actual words 
okay like the movie is good okay so we we, we can focus on movie and uh, good word okay is is not that much importance for us or the movie or the the two until these words are not important for us okay so stock word means the high frequency word which is not having any significant importance for us and because of that we go for the this stock word removal okay now i want to remove these stock words so you should know what are the stock words okay means you need some uh, text file where there there uh, where you can compare the the stock words okay so in nltk library we have stock word file so if you want to load this you can use from nltk.corpus okay you can import stock words okay so this is one corpus where we have a list of stock, uh, files and under that files we have a set of words so i'm just taking as spw uh stop word spelling stop word okay now this is our corpus under that we have different set of files okay so one method is there file ids which is common method for all the the corpuses okay under the file ids sp dot okay so these many languages stock words are present under the stock words so you can get the arabic language stock word uh, bengali dutch english we are interested in english language corpus okay so if you would like to see this you can use the dot word method okay so for example someone is working on arabic project uh, arabic language project okay so you can use words and you can pass the arabic so you get the set of stock word okay list of stock word that is present under the arabic okay so all these are the arabic words okay high frequency word similarly someone is interested in stock words associated with the dutch okay so you can write here spw dot words and you get the dutch okay so these all are the stock words that is under the dutch language now let us go for the final one that is english language english we copy it. okay so all these words now you can find here this these all are the words high frequency word i me myself our you are he is himself okay so frequency of these words are very high in the the text and you can find these uh, the frequency of these words maximum okay maximum frequency you get it for these words okay now you have one reference file by which you can check your text file okay now i would like to remove the uh, remove my stock words okay so for example uh, let me take one line txt1 okay i am writing here aman is one guy guy from india who will take care of people around us okay so this is my sentence okay and i would like to remove the stop words from this text file text one okay this is our text so first i am going to convert it into the the lower case as you all know you need to avoid the confusion so lower casing is the first step second step is to do the tokenization okay so i am going to generate the tokens okay so you all know the how to generate the token we have this tokenizer word tokenizer so let me write here 
directly I'm writing here nltk dot word underscore tokenize. Okay, and you can pass the text one. Okay, this is your text one. You can print this text one. Print text one. And uh, okay, sorry, not text one. I'm going to print the tokens. Okay, so these all are the tokens. Okay, so this is the list of words that we have. Now let's go for the removing the stop word. Okay, so you all know the list of words. Okay, so SPW words. Okay, SPW words. It is under this. Okay, so if you copy this and you'll get the list of stop word over here okay with this line you get the list of stop word from the english language okay and you can compare your your list with this and remove the stop words now i'm writing one line of code so w for w w for w in okay so in my tokens basically in tokens and then write if w not in not in this spw words okay and this is your filtered words filter words means the the words uh filtered text i'm writing here filter text means the the text free from stop word okay and let me print it and execute now you can find here so this is my raw and raw text let me write it properly raw text okay and this is my uh no this is my clean text clean text after stop word removal and this is my raw text Okay, so you can find here, we removed the stop word with this line of code, with this single line of code, we have removed the stop word from the this text. Okay, we removed this is, then from, then who, then will, and of, okay, and another, okay. So this is my stop word, which we have removed from my short text. I hope the stop word removal is clear. Okay, so this is how one can remove the stop word from the uh, the text file. Now, next is next. Is, yeah, you can if you would like to print the stop word only. Okay, so just change over here. If w not in, just use only in. Okay, so you get the stop word only. Okay, just see over here. This is the code for getting the stop word. Getting the stop word from from your text okay from your text these mini stop words are there stop words okay so this is your stop words from the text is from who will of okay only one change is required instead of not in i'm going to use in okay i have used the in over here okay so this is related with the stop word now next is uh, your stemming. Okay, so stemming means what? Stemming means going for the root word. Okay, so we are not interested in the. Okay, so stemming means it is a process of reducing the word to its word stem. Okay, so for example, playing is one word, plays is another word, and played is another word. Okay, so all three words are same. Okay, so uh, to just to know the root word for this okay so internally uh, when uh, when we give this data to the model that time we cannot give it as it is okay so it will create the confusion because playing is having the different sense okay different sense in terms of vector different word representation or different vector representation is for playing and different uh, vector representation for plays although both word are same okay and because of that uh, your model will get confused in the future. So to avoid this, 
we convert this word to the root word okay so your playing is get converted into the play plays will convert into the play so stemming is the process of reducing the word to its word stem okay so we have two stemmer we have three steamer for port many steamers also actually but most commonly use porter steamer and lancaster steamer apart from that we have land uh, snowball steamer also you can create your own steamer also own steamer means by the help of regular expression you can create your own steamer also like by adding ed ies ious ing okay these are all are the words at the last word you can write one regular expression place some uh, the prefixes and remove that one okay you get the root word uh, here i am going to explain two steamer porter steamer and then lancaster steamer okay so let us go for porter steamer so porter steamer mm, let us take the words okay one list i am considering over playing okay then plays and played okay these three words mm, then let let us stick for nltk dot okay so yeah you can directly go for nltk also nltk dot porter steamer okay spelling mistake porters uh, create the object of this ps okay let me check yeah ps is the object of this porter steamer class and you can pass the word for example i am passing the plane okay so ps dot stem dot stem is the method and you'll get the plane similarly you can pass other words this is your first i am passing it separately place then plate okay and you get the root word so root word for these three words play 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 okay mm, if you would like to write it for the list itself okay then you take this list and write the loop for i in uh, your words this is your list then use the ps dot stem print ps dot stem and you can pass the the i okay so this is how you can go for the list of words now similarly we have lancaster steamer lancaster for different steamer we get the different output okay so it is not every time that you are getting the correct word okay let me show you what i am saying what do you mean by correct word so for example i am going for the word like trouble okay so the root word for trouble is trouble trouble itself it is my root word okay but when i am going with the porter steamer i am getting this wrong word e r o u b l okay so here i am getting the wrong output okay so only because of what under porter steamer we do not have any type of condition checking that whether it is a correct word or not okay it automatically remove the prefix okay so because of that you are getting the wrong word okay so it is not like that ki in porter steamer itself you are getting some wrong result in uh, lancaster steamer sometime lancaster work well sometime porter works well okay so this is one thing and that problem will get resolved when we um, when we go for the discuss uh, when we go for the lemmatization concept okay under the lemmatization this problem will get resolved under the lemmatization lemmatization is also the way to get the root word but every time you get the correct word because there is one thing the one extra headache that 
uh, the word is compared with the uh, the dictionary or in in uh, in NLTK we called it as word net. Okay, that I will explain later. So um, Lancasters, let me create the Lancaster steamer. Lancasters. Okay, spelling mistake. Lancaster. Okay, so LS I'm considering LS over here for Lancaster steamer. Replace PS by LS, LS, and LS. Similarly, you go for the snowball steamer also. Okay, so with Lancaster also, uh, I'm getting the correct result for this. Okay, and you can try for this the list of word. Okay, so every time it is not possible that we get the correct result. Okay, let's take one more word for Lancaster steamer here. Trouble. Okay, so you can find here when we, when we are going with the Lancaster steamer also, we are getting the wrong output for the trouble. Wrong. Wrong output. Okay, so that problem is now get resolved in the lemmatization concept. So under the lemmatization, what we have? Lemmatization, we called it as a wordnet lemmatizer that only remove the affixes if the resulting word is in the dictionary, resulting word is di in dictionary means it is a word net basically. So under the NLTK, we have a word net corpus there. We have a set of standard words that we called it as a dictionary. Lemmatization reduce the word to their root word. It is similar to the stamming concept, but the difference is that the, the, uh, the result of this lemmatization is only the real word, real word. You will not get the wrong word. Okay. So, uh, how to go for the lemmatization. So again, NLTK dot your wordnet lemmatizer. Okay, so let me write wordnet lemmatizer. LEM, okay. And your LEM dot lemmatize. Okay, lemmatize is the method. LEM dot lemmatize. And you can pass the word trouble. Okay. So now you are getting the trouble, correct result. But the thing is that it is the disadvantage of using the lemmatization is that it is time consuming because one extra headache is there. Okay. First, it remove the affixes and then it compare with the word net. Okay. So because of that, you can find over here, it will take some time. Okay. So it will take some time. Okay. Uh, as this is, these are only two words. That's because of that, you are not getting uh, the time constraint over here. But internally, it is the disadvantage of limitization uh, is that there is an extra headache of comparing the, the word with the the root word, uh, the the actual word. Okay, so let me write another one, place or some word. If that word is not defined in the dictionary, okay, then you will not get it. Like people, okay, for people also we are getting the correct result. Let me type here people for lem. Uh, this this is Lancaster steamer, and I'm typing the people over here. So you can find the people word when we are going with the stemming concept, then you get this wrong word. Okay. But in lemmatization, you'll always get the correct word. Okay. So this is what the concept of lemmatization. Now last uh, additional operations, the, the punctuation removal, the number removal and spell checkers. Okay. So let me take the, the example for this. So I'm considering one text additional operations so txt my sentence is like this hello hash how are you okay question mark okay there are some special character i'm adding here dollar okay now so first um, i'm only interested in i i would like to remove the the punctuation from this okay so i'm interested in in only alphabets okay so how to do this thing 
so to handle this um, i am writing the filter text equal to and i am writing here um, c for c but in and this is my text if you directly go for the token first okay so then you can go for the tokenization also first because we need this thing these are all my tokens txt1 i'm writing here txt1 tokens so c for c in tokens if i'm writing here if not c dot is alpha okay so in, this is what my special character okay but i want my text should be free from this okay so i'm writing here if c dot is alpha that means here i have removed this hash dollar symbol and question mark okay so in most of most of the time our text data contain this unnecessary punctuation things okay like hash comma dollar okay so these all are the punctuations or special characters which we which we would like to remove from the text so you can use this line of code to remove the the punctuations similarly uh, so you can remove the numbers also okay so with this line of code you can remove punctuation and also numbers also okay let me write In another example i'm writing the numbers also okay so one this 1 2 3 is also get removed because of this line now uh, next is very small thing that is spell checker this is extra part we do not use it regularly spell checker so for that you need one library from your auto correct auto correct import speller class let me check yeah create the object of this speller class you can use the english language language is equal to english and this is my object spell now then uh, let's take the text i'm writing here this is the world of wrld world of hope okay now one uh, word is wrong over here the spelling is wrong for this wrld okay so with one line of code you can correct this thing so first go for the, the tokenization okay tokens nltk dot word underscore tokenize okay you all know how to go for the tokenization and this is your text okay you get the tokens then your spell the correct spell okay then you can write spell of uh, your w let me write your correct word correct words spell of w w in this tokens and print the correct words okay now you can find here automatically with the help of this speller class we can correct we have corrected this word wrld is now get converted into the wrld okay so this is how you can do the spell correction from the text now our last part is the test case okay so five more minutes is required just to complete this uh, case study overall text summarization text so first you need to download this text file after the class i am going to 
share this PPT with you along with this um, IPYNV file, the PDF file. Okay, so this is my text. You need to download. Okay, after downloading it, just placed it into the root directory. Okay, just drag and drop into this root directory, and then go for the 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 operations. Okay, so uh, this is the process that you need to perform. Okay, so the case study. Let me open this text file. This is present in my C drive. Okay, this is my text file. Okay, and uh, I would like to perform all these text pre processing operations that is, removing the special. Actor converting into the lower case, I mean, lemonization, everything from this file. Okay, so huge amount of text under this file. Now, uh, let us go for this. So, what thing? Uh, I'm just creating the. So, I need to type all these things. Okay, it will take five to 10 minutes more. Mm, Pre process. Mm my file name i'm creating one function under that i'm writing all the steps okay that will be easy then uh, instead of writing the things in the separate manner okay let me take my file okay with the help of open function this is the basic operation under the python to open the file so the file name, whichever you want to pass file name, you have to open it into the, the mode. Okay. I would like to open it into the read mode. I'm writing the encoding format for this particular file is UTF. This is optional. You can write uh, UTF eight or something. Okay. Mm, then read the file app dot read. So this is basic Python file handling. Okay. That we are doing it. And so this is the text that you get from the file. Okay, let me execute this function first, the simple function. And I'm passing the, the file name, pre-process. And the name of that file. in text In this yeah this is my text file okay so this is a simple way to read the file okay uh, hope you all know because this is part of python open the file and read the content of this file okay but it is a raw file okay raw file means uh, there are stop words then having a special characters punctuations okay so not in lower case okay and we wanted to uh, clean this particular file okay so this is our file Okay, now I'm writing the steps. Whatever we have discussed. Okay, so let me do the word tokenization. Words 
equal to okay, uh, first convert it into the lower case txt dot lower and store it txt okay this is the text that uh, under the lower case okay then we go for the removing the the special characters okay so I'm writing this one here. I'm passing the, the filter text punctuation. Punctuation I'm going to remove over here. And as I want to convert it into the, the text file, so I'm going to use the dot join method also. Dot join. Now, so this is my filter text. And then we go for the, the tokenization. Words, NLTK dot word underscore tokenize. Okay, word underscore tokenize and pass the filter text. Okay, then stop word removal. Code for stop word removal is already there. I'm just copying and pasting over there. Okay, this is the code for the stop word removal. One line of code. Okay, W for W in tokens. So, so here you can use the tokens. Okay, and then Steamer. Okay, so similarly, you can go for the steamer. Similarly, you can go for this lemmatization also. Now, right now, I'm just printing these three things. Okay, the, the text after removal the punctuation and then filter text uh, after doing the uh, stop word removal. Okay, so let me complete this one. Okay, so I'm going to return it. Return. So first, I would like to return the normal text. This is my normal text. This is my lowercase text. Okay. Lowercase text. Then my tokens. Okay. Then my filter text. Filter text means after removing the stop word. Okay. So these four things I'm going to. Uh, filter it out right uh, similarly you can go for the steaming lemmatization concept also okay so uh, let us go for the execution uh, let me check tokens and all okay this is executed and then go for the yes one by one okay so you can find here the the result that i am getting the first initially I'm getting the raw result, then this is my raw result. This is actual text. Mm, store it into this. It is stored like this. Okay. The text and then go for the one by one. This is txt underscore lower. The, all the text is in the lower case. Okay, you can check. All the text is in now lower case. Normal text that we have, this is our normal text. Okay, this is our normal text. Means normal text means not free from the, the special characters and all, not in the lower case also. Okay, and also you can print the tokens also. Print tokens. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let us store the filter text first. Okay. 
think that text. Oops. Mm -hmm. And basically, not in stop word. Okay. We are getting this one because we use the in, in stop word. We need to write not in stop words. Actually, it is considering the past text. My past text it is considering. So let me figure it out. This file name. This is my function. This is my pre-processing. Let me check the the stop word one part. In stop word. Okay. Yeah. C for C in tokens. Okay. This is, I, I, I'm just commenting out this. Okay. Uh, because this token is, uh, we have considering the previous token part. Okay. So that's why I'm just going for the normal text. Okay. This is our normal text. This is my text after lower casing and then filter out the text after removing the stop word. Okay. These three things I would like to print over here. Similarly, you can go for others. Uh, normal text dot lower NLTK dot word underscore tokenize and pass this one. Okay. Um, I commented out this one first. Okay. Now I think we'll get the correct output. Filter text, text L. Token we do not. Uh, let us go for this now. Okay. This is our normal text. Then we go for the TXT1. Okay, txt1 means sorry, not txt1, it is txt underscore l. Okay, this is txt l after him after doing the lower casing and then tokens. Then tokens. Okay, so these all are my tokens from the the my text file. Okay, now it is working. Okay, and then Finally, we have filter text. Okay, so the filter text means that is after removing the stop words. Okay, after removing the stop words, these many words are there, but still we have these things. Okay, that we can remove. Okay, so how to remove this? You need to write one line of code for this. To remove this, we can go for one line of code. Okay, after this filter text, you can write this. Okay, filter text P. Then dot joins, uh, no need of dot join directly going for the list of word itself. And here you can write and print lastly this one and store this one. Okay, now execute, execute. So this is your normal text which we have already printed out the tokens and then this filter text and next one is filter text after removing the punctuation filter text after removing the punctuation now this is my clean text you can see over here no special character is over there no hash question mark dot okay everything is now uh, clear from stop word all the text is in the lower case okay words already we have tokenized similarly you can add the streaming code lemmatization code okay i hope it is clear i have taken 10 minutes more just because of this final case study i hope it is clear if you are having any doubt you can ask me okay i am going to share my email id also if someone needs any help in this nlp so let me share the okay i think i'm not having any access of typing okay let me check it and just get it nathan a l k and the rate 
Okay. So under this session, we have covered the tax pre-processing part that is required for the NLP project. We discussed how to convert the text into the lower case, how to remove the stop words, doing the tokenization, performing the steaming, lemmatization, removing the punctuations, the digits from the, uh, the actual text. Okay. And finally, we have considered one case studies uh, from the, the text file. Okay. So there are a lot many things under this because I'm getting uh, the questions okay collections counters mm. so many other things are also there like you can uh, extract the data from website using url open and then go for the this text processing operations also but because of the time constraint uh, i'm not uh, going to uh, take that particular part maybe in the next session I'm going to cover the, the web scrapping and the feature extractions tools like Glow, Fast Text, WordNet, uh, your Fast Text, and the Bird part also. Some questions are there. What is lemmatization? Lemmatization is for the getting the root word. Okay, just to uh, as I told you, playing, played, and plays is having a different meaning. When we give this data to your model, okay, the different vector is get generated and all three words are taken it as separately although all the three word is having the same meaning okay so for that purpose you need to go for the root word for any root word for example playing the root word for playing is play played it is play okay so for that we have two option one is streaming and another one is lemmatization okay so i hope everything is clear Yes, yes, thank you. Before we proceed to answer your questions, I think I would like to request the attendees to feel feel in the poll about feedback as it helps us to conduct more such sessions. Now I'm going to create the one poll. Now you can take the uh, questions people ask in the QA sections. Yes, so there are different questions uh, like transformer. Uh, transformer is again, uh, basically we use it for converting the, uh, there are the different use, okay? Like uh, we can use the transformers in different projects nowadays in summarization, in sentiment analysis, we are taking the help of this transformer. Okay, so bird are there, the several versions of birds, Roberta, uh, we can consider there we do not require the, the basic feature extractions like bag of words or TF-IDF things. So some questions related with the notebook. Yes, I'm going to share the notebook. What if the word is having the abbreviations? So spell give the correct spelling. Yeah, for some, it is not the perfect one. Okay, sometime uh, with spell class, you have not get the correct result. So it is as similar to your uh, steamer, Porter steamer and the Lancaster steamer. Every time you cannot accept the correct thing. Okay, you need to modify the, that particular class or you have to create your own. How do you check the loading time and the speed of NLP execution? So NLP execution means, the, I don't know what you are asking, NLP related project you are saying, then yes, if uh, you do the proper pre-processing, then you can improve the, the computational time that is required for the model training. Recording, uh, yes, recording is there. Yes, SPACI versus NLTK. SPACI is also the another library by which you can handle the, the NLP related task. Okay, but nowadays NLTK is the most commonly used library. Okay. So you can connect with the LinkedIn also. Okay, I'm getting the request over the LinkedIn also. So if you face any issue or any 
doubt you can just message me okay if i get the I have time i'll already shared your linkedin ad okay great alien is the number of words were here okay so when we talked about the alien for the nltk then it is for the uh, the the words normal python uh, if you apply then it is character yes i think that much is sufficient already uh, it's important uh, 10 more yes 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 thanks a lot thanks a lot dr nitin shrike on the okay. behalf of analytics vidya i would like to thank you for your time and for delivering the such a wonderful sessions and i'm sure our audience found it insightful and hopefully we can conduct more sessions with you in the future so i hope you guys have fill in the feedback poll if not i request you to fill fill in the poll back about the feedback and it helps us to conduct more such sessions okay thank you okay participants bye bye okay thank you all of you bye